Hi guys, JP from FSI Panel. On that video, I will show you how to use the Cockpit Flows feature of FSI Panel 2020 Advanced Edition. Today we'll be using the uh, Edwin's A330 900 Neo, beautiful painting, beautiful aircraft, and now she flies very, very well with the last uh, VNAV update. It's really enjoyable to fly that aircraft. So I will use the uh, training scenario Lufthansa 351 to demonstrate uh, the flows. We will not fly all the way to Frankfurt, but I will demonstrate the first few flows and how to use them. Basically, uh, we have to set up the flow. So to do that, I will launch FSI panel and I'll show you how to set up your flow. All right, in FSI panel, if you go to setup and options, you will find cockpit flows. Uh, options and here you need to select a button one of your controller button or a keyboard combination in my case I will use a keyboard combination for that so in order to do that just click on the button and then FSI panel will ask you whether you want to use a keyboard combination instead of a button so if you still have a button available and you want to use one of your controller button just reply no and if you want to use a keyboard combination, reply yes. So I will use a keyboard combination. And for me, it will be Control Shift F11. So I will press those keys together right now. And as it was already configured, you can see that it's showing on the screen. The idea is that you get your Control Shift F11 right there as the um, assignment or your, cockpit, your joystick buttons right there. Now the flows are done. That's the only thing we need to do to uh, have the flows ready. So we can go back in our cockpit and we will start uh, using the flows. So let me show you what flows, which aircraft are compatible with the flows and then we'll go ahead. Those are the aircraft that are currently compatible with the flows. The Phoenix A320. We have the PMDG 737 all series. The Fly-By-Wire A320, of course, the Edwin's A330 Neo that we will use now, and as well the Inibol's A310. Which flows are then available? Those are the flows, the before start flow that you will use just before starting your engines. So here FSI panel will set everything for you for pushback. After pushback, we have the after start. Then for the Airbus, we have the taxi procedures. Make sure to do that once you are out of the apron and in a safe area where there is no risk of collisions any, anymore. Then the lineup flow where FSI panel will set the light, the transponder for your lineup. After takeoff flow. And finally, we can trigger the after landing once we vacate the runway and the shutdown flow once we have parked our aircraft. Why do we have those flows? Simply to uh, help the pilot with the uh, cockpit action, especially in buzzy situation. We are flying those aircraft single pilot. And sometimes, you know, like a lineup, for example, you might be buzzy looking at your uh, lineup uh, path. And then if you have to go uh, heads down to set your transponder to on and then up to set your landing lights to on, then you might end up in the grass and that's not very 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 nice same thing after vacating your runway you don't want to uh, start an after landing flow looking up and down and and in the same time you're not taxing your aircraft so this is the uh, reason why i added the flows in fsi panel 2020 it is not a complete first officer like uh, FS2 crew will do, but uh, it helps a lot with the flows. All right, so let's go in. Let's jump in the cockpit. Sorry, and let's have a look at the first flows. Here, I just uh, loaded my cockpit. I have used the uh, training scenario Lufthansa 351. I set my flight plan that this is as this is not a compatible aircraft of the advanced edition, and I'm able to fly it. So let's ask for the clearance, and then we will do the uh, before start. Uh, ground, this is Lufthansa 351. We are stand 3 ready for push and start and clearance to uh, Frankfurt. We have information hotel. Good morning, Lufthansa 351. Moin. Cleared to Frankfurt as filed. Airlat 1 mic departure. Runway 09. Initial climb 4000 feet. Squawk 1361. 
Roger, we are clear to uh, Frankfurt as filed. Runway 09 for departure. Airlad 1 mic, initial 4000 feet and scope 1361. Lufthansa 351. Lufthansa 351. Readback is correct. Report when ready for pushback. Roger, we report ready for pushback. Lufthansa 351. By the way, you might be thinking, what is this ATC? This is uh, uh, airline flight from FSI Panel 2020 Advanced Edition. You can look for that on YouTube or find the description, uh, the link in the description below. All right, so we are ready basically to uh, push back. We have our clearance and we will do the flow. So now this is what's going to happen. If we look into our cockpit, we are now on the APU. We have the beacon light off. The seatbelt sign is still off as the passengers just finished to board. So nothing is done and now you are ready for push. So normally you will do your flow and then you will request pushback. But here we can use uh, the flows of FSI panel. I'm sure some of you have spotted that little extra in-game panel here. So that is something new that will come in a few weeks, I will say, that will allow us to fly in VR or the training scenarios. All right, so let's uh, remove the jetway and we will do the flows. Okay, so I bring the flows using my key combination. And as you can see, we have the departure flow before start, after start, taxi procedures, and lineup flow. Then airborne, we're gonna have the after takeoff. Finally, we have the after landing and the shutdown flow. We have options below flows. For example, after start on the Airbus, Right now, we will be doing a flaps 2 takeoff, so I can already set flaps 2 there. FSI panel will remember your settings. If you have to do a pack off takeoff due to performance, just go pack off here. Then it's already known by FSI panel that it will have to turn off the uh, packs during the lineup. And finally, landing lights on or off. When you call for the lineup flow, if you are clear for takeoff, for example, just go with lights on and then all lights will be ready for your departure. If you are uh, cleared to uh, line up and wait, then if you just go light off, the aircraft will line up the runway and your lights will still be off. It will be your responsibility later on to turn your landing lights on just before rolling for takeoff. All right, so let's put it like this and I call for before start now. So I push before start and let's see what happened. Look at the fuel pumps. Beacon light is on, fuel pump has been switched on, and if we look down here, we should have a transponder set to auto, so we are now ready. That's the ID of the flow. Now I can start the pushback, so I will call for pushback. Uh, Lufthansa 351, we are ready for push. Lufthansa 351, Roger. Pushback is approved, facing north on November. Report ready for taxi. Roger, push approved facing north on November. We'll call for taxi uh, Lufthansa 351. All right, we are ready to go. So let's try that push back here. Call the tug. Tug is attached. Beautiful. And let's try this. And she's pushing. Yeah, perfect. It's really a very nice painting. I love it. This uh, 330 is just amazing. All right, so we will start the engine as soon as the push is completed. And this is to uh, show you what you can do with the uh, flow as well. If you like to see some views from the wing once you are actually starting your engines or anything can be done with the flow. So let me show you that. All right, we are in position. Let's go back in the cockpit. Gonna set our parking brake. Here we go, that should be as well. The door should be closed at that time and pushback is off. Done. All right. So now we are clear to start the engine. So let's start the engines. Number two. Do you have any questions about the safety features of this aircraft? Please go ahead and 
I should be monitoring my engine starts, but you know it's so nice and I love this aircraft. The wing is just amazing. Alright, so we will be starting our two engine. Number two has been started, the start valve is closed now and it should stabilize anytime soon. And we'll be able to start number one. Let's go for number one. And then we will use the after start flow. So the after start flow number two is available. What you will do on the after start flow is put your ignition back to normal, then arm the uh, speed brake, select your flaps 2, push the uh, trim button to make sure we are centered, APU bleed should go off, and we turn off the master APU if APU is not required. So FSI panel will do that for you. So basically what you do is you start your engines, and then you don't need to call for all the flows. You can only call the flow that you really want to use. So in that case, I will show you the flows all the way to uh, to landing. So we will see now uh, the after start flow as soon as the engines are stabilized. See the start valve is still open. Now it's closed, so the engine is running. Celsius, the uh, temperature is raising. N2 is about to reach 60%. And finally, we're expecting to see that the engines is available. All right, available. All right, so now this is where your first officer will do the after start flow. So if you want FSI panel to do it, just call the uh, flow menu and go after start with flaps 2. And here we go. So if we have a look there, we should see our flaps moving to flaps 2 position. Beautiful. And let's have a look in the cockpit. What has been done? So as expected, you can see that the... Uh, Speed brake, is it armed here? Yeah. yeah, it was armed. Armed, off, flaps two, we are zero, zero. The APU bleed has been turned off and the master switch has been uh, has been pushed. So basically the APU remains on for one minute and then it will turn off. Right, so now we are ready for taxi. Let's call for taxi. Lufthansa 351, we are ready for taxi. Lufthansa 351, taxi holding point 09 Avaya November and Alpha taxi. Taxi uh, runway 09, November and Alpha, Lufthansa 351. All right, taxi clearance is received. Lights on and let's go. Now during taxi, what we check, and this is Airbus with the uh, Boeing, we usually do the, if possible, the uh, before takeoff, uh, before moving, in fact, which helps unless you have to go for the icing or uh, for a long taxi, then uh, we will do it afterward, especially if you do single engine taxi. If not, on the Boeing, usually we set the flaps, we make sure that the aircraft is uh, properly trimmed, and then we will go for the uh, before takeoff, before moving the aircraft. So basically, it's out of the way on the Airbus. We've got a few things to do. The uh, auto brake has to go to max, and we have to switch on the predictive wind shear. As you can see now on the screen right there, it's still off and as well the weather if applicable. And this is what FSI panel can do for you. So once we are in a situation that permits, then we will do that. So let's call the flow once we are on alpha here and we will let FSI panel do the uh, taxi procedure. Just a beautiful, beautiful livery. They did an amazing job. All right, here we go. So we know where we are. There is no traffic in front of us. There is no obstacle. Let's go for the taxi procedure. So bring the flow and taxi procedure. And now what we can see, predicted wind shear is off. 
this is what I, I was talking about. Do not start looking here, switching that, switching that, and then we look up and we are we pass the uh, old short instructions or we are on the grass. And by the way, you can use the f these features, these flows, even if you're not using FSI panel for your flight. If you fly VATSIM and you want to have the help of FSI panel for your flows, you're free to do it. Just open FSI panel and the flows will be available right away uh, for you. Lufthansa 351, when ready, contact tower 120 decimal 330. Tschüss, good luck. Order 120330, Lufthansa 351. Bye bye. Okay, so tower when ready, so I will hold short right there because I need to change the frequency to 120330. That's it. And then Bremen radar departure is 1248. And pre selected. All right, let's see what the tower tells us now. Bremen Tower, hello, Lufthansa 351, holding short 09. We are ready. 351, line up runway 09 and wait. Roger, line up 09 and wait, Lufthansa 351. Okay, so let's press the takeoff config. Everything looks good. We are clear to line up. The runway is identified as runway 09 Alpha as per our performance, and we are clear for line up and wait. So, line up and wait. I will not switch the landing lights on. So, let's call the flow. And I will just turn this off lineup. And now my first officer is doing all the flows for me. Switching on the transponder, the uh, strobe lights. And basically my responsibility will be only the uh, landing light with the takeoff clearance. This is most of the airline procedures to keep the lights off. And to, that shows the other traffic that you are not departing, that you are just holding position. 351, winds 270 degrees, 8 knots, runway 09, clear for takeoff. When airborne, contact Bremen Radar, 124 decimal 8, tschüss, schönen Tag noch. Danke vielmals, clear for takeoff, runway 09, airborne 124 decimal 8, Lufthansa 351, schönen Tag, tschüss. All right, we are aligned on runway 09 and we are clear for takeoff. Runway heading looks good. Don't forget your lights. And we are clear for takeoff. So time here, time here, and let's go. Take off. Okay, Manflex SRS runway auto total blue. One hundred knots checked. E one rotate. Nav positive rate of climb gear up. Nav is there and let's put the autopilot so we can concentrate. So autopilot is on. And then I will show you the after takeoff flow when it's time and then we'll move ahead to Frankfurt for the uh, arrival shutdown and uh, after landing and shutdown flow. All right, climb. And let's call departure. Flaps one. Raymond Radar, hello, Lufthansa 351, uh, 2400 climbing, uh, 4000 feet on the air at one mic. Lufthansa 351, hello, identified. Climb flight level 110, turn right heading 210. Roger, climb 110 and turn right heading 210, Lufthansa 351. So heading 210, heading 210, here we go, and speed check flaps up. Up climb, check. Flaps are up. So now what we will do is the after takeoff, bring the uh, ground spoiler to up, turn off the runway, turn off light, and the uh, nose taxi light. So let's call FSI panel to do it for us. After takeoff. 
and here we go you can see the lights have been turned off and the speed brake is retracted beautiful departure out of Bremen and we are flying the heading 210 for now as per ETC instruction Don't worry, we will not fly all the way to uh, Frankfurt. If you want me to show you complete flight, the procedures and everything, please leave a comment in the section, description section below and then I will try to make flights, complete flights, the scenarios from A to B uh, so you can see the correct procedure. Bremen Radar Hello, this is Lufthansa 350. We are maintaining 110 on course Airlad. Hello, identified. Continue climb, flight level 230. Continue climb 230, Lufthansa 351. Alright, 230, climb, trust, climb, and that's it. Alright, so that's all the flows you have from departure to basically airborne with the after takeoff. And then the next flow that you can use, if I bring the menu, will be the after landing and finally the shutdown flow. So I'll move the video forward uh, in Frankfurt on the uh, short final and we will see those, those two flow. Lufthansa 351 with you on uh, final ILS uh, 07 center, 7 miles. Lufthansa 351, Stop end. Roger, clear to land 07 center, Lufthansa 351. All right, guys, we are back together. We are on short final in Frankfurt. Low visibility is in use. So I'm configuring the aircraft now for landing. And you will see the after landing flow. Hopefully, we will see the runway. So let's hope for the best. Here we go. We have been clear to land. The AVR is. Uh, 400, 300 and 400 meters, so we should be fine for the landing. All right, landing checklist, uh, landing memo, no blue, all good. We are established, Mr. Push altitude is set. And we are on short final. Let's concentrate on that landing and let's see of these, all oh, these beautiful headwind. A330 performs on the auto land today. Very nice. Let's see, when we enter the uh, cloud layer, should be very, very cool as well. Should record that for the landing. So this scenario that you are seeing right now, it's the uh, Lufthansa 351 that you can fly on uh, any uh, aircraft, even if not compatible with FSI panel, as long as you can fly climb to the cruising level which is 240 uh, on that flight i think 23 or 240 all right we are 1000 feet stabilized let's concentrate on that landing it's a low fog layer as you can see that happens sometimes and it's a very uh, tricky sometimes you see the runway and you uh, you want to take over manually and the runway disappeared again so guys if you go for a auto land just go for the auto land all the way down this is mandatory if low visibility procedures are in force and if not and you see the runway never never disconnect believe me you can lose contact at any time on this kind of condition especially with snows with snow sorry then that's the problem all right let's concentrate land Approach lights. Continue. Run inside. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Retard. Okay, touchdown. Either reverses.
Autopilot off. And now we make sure that we don't rush. It's low visibility procedures in force. So you see the visibility, how it can change from midpoint now to end point. I wanted to show you that. So even if you think you have a good visibility at some point and you want to fly manually, this is what can happen. So always be very conservative. You go for an auto land, you go for an auto land. You will do manual landings later on. Don't worry about it. All right, we are vacating the runway. Let's hope ATC calls us for that. We will just stop here. Los Angeles 351, taxi stand Alpha 14 via Lima in November 7. Schönen Tag mit dir. Roger, Alpha 14, Lima, 7 of November, Los Angeles 351. Bye bye. All right, uh, here we go. And now I just want to show you the after landing flow. So if I bring now my um, flow panel, I can go on the after landing. And now I can taxi my airplane in low visibility without having to look up and down. My first officer, FSI panel in that case, is doing everything for me. So I can just concentrate on the uh, taxi as you can see visibility is not good so there this is exactly where it can be helpful to have a first officer with you in a cockpit especially on this kind of aircraft when you have to look up and down for your flows so that's the id so i see you at the parking position for the uh, shutdown flow all right, reaching parking position, taxi light goes off and we will go slow. As you can see, FSI panel has done the after landing flow as expected. We have the APU running, we have the strobe lights off and we have the transponder on taxi. Everything's been done. The flaps have been retracted, predicted wind shear is off and the weather radar has been turned off. So now you are reaching your parking position and we will use the very last flow and on the 737 uh, you can call the flow exactly the same way as i, I did on this flight the uh, shutdown flow on the 737 the first officer will put the uh, ng the apu generator sorry on the bus and you can use it the exact same way so let me show you that now i set the parking brake and on the 737 the captain will ask you to set the uh, apu generator on the bus and then we'll switch off the engine so what you can do, same here, is call your shutdown flow. Even though the engines are running, I will call the shutdown flow. What's happening now? Only one thing, the APU bleed is off and now you can turn off your engines. And if we look in our cockpit now, the pumps have been turned off. We have the uh, APU bleed on, we have the beacon light off. We have the taxi lights off already and everything has been done properly well. The transponder as well is standby. Good. And that's it. We just arrived in Frankfurt uh, from this Lufthansa 351. That video was to show you the flows. I hope you like uh, the feature. Leave me any comment in the section below and I would be very happy to answer any of your questions or comments. Thank you guys for watching that video. As always, stay safe. And if you didn't subscribe to the channel, please do it now. That would help me a lot. Thank you guys and see you next time. Bye bye.